In prime time news this evening, law and order. Prime Minister assures that Port Royal development will not result in chaos. No more load shedding. JPS promises better service with new Old Harbor power plant. And more murders. One year old among six shot despite state of emergency. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News, both on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Herman Green. And I'm Janela Precious. Also this evening, the top business stories of the day, Andrew Laidley has our preview. Yes, Janela, we've heard time and time again that the private sector is the engine of, for economic growth. Now we're being given insight into how the sector plans to achieve that growth. Stick around, I'll have the details in the Financial Week. All right, thank you, Andrew. From Andrew, we go to Jordan for what's happening in the world of sports. Jordan. Well, Herman, you might remember Reggae Boys team manager Roy Simpson criticizing local players for playing in the USL, saying it's not better than the National Premier League. Well, a couple of national players have hit back. I'll have that story in Primetime Sports Friday. Uh, there's also sports commentary, E-Prime, and weather in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. This evening's question, given the evidence outlined in the Tesha Miller trial, do you believe his 38-year sentence was fair? You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and tweet us at television jam. Please stay with us. Primetime News returns right after this break. <laughs> 